afternoon, ladies and gentle guardians, Vic Show in here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Vapebringer, and funny enough, not a PvE review, a PvP review. You know, I've heard a lot from people saying like, oh, you know, it's whatever in the Crucible, you know, it's okay, so I was like, alright, let's give it a shot. I haven't really tried it out in the Crucible, I want to see if, you know, what they're saying is true or not, and kind of give my thoughts on it. I'm playing a little bit with it, not much, as you can tell, but, um... Yeah, this is the role I've got. Corkscrew, Accurize, Tunnel Vision, and Kill Clip. Pretty freaking good, because Tunnel Vision pairs literally perfectly with Kill Clip, and then it got Stability Masterwork. So, uh, yeah. Um, I will say my initial impressions. It's it's good. I like it. It's fun. I would still take my Palindrome over it, obviously. But it's not a bad option. <clears throat> Find an impactor. But, um, yeah, it's not a bad option. Uh, I've been enjoying it. So the build I'm going to be running with this is I'm going to be using my Truth Teller with Disruption Break. So I'm going to hit him with Disruption Break, get them one shot, then clean them up with Fate Bringer, and then hopefully get the kill clip going. Unfortunately, you can't two tap with 140s, I, which is rather annoying because I believe they could do that in Destiny 1. So um, I don't know. It, I, I don't know, it's a little frustrating because 140s are my favorite archetype, but man, I just think about how powerful they were in D1. It's like, man, I wish they were as good, but I get it with 120s in the game now. I'd, well, no, they were in Destiny 1, 2, I believe, but they were 110s, but they weren't used as often, I believe. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I get it. Could bring some balancing issues, but yeah, Fatebringer, we're going to give it a shot in the Crucible. I've been enjoying it, and, uh, yeah. Alrighty. Okay, we missed the GL shot, but we got kill clip now, so that's good. Clean, clean, good team fire, good team fire. I'm cool with that. Let's see. I just want people to push me. Nice. All right, got kill clip again. All right, I take back what I said about wanting people to push me. Nice, we got the assist. All right, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Alright, we can kind of keep this good, you know, we got good team fire going right now, so we can keep kind of keep that going. Should be able to pull back here. Damn. This is an unfortunate position. How are we not dead is what I don't know. Jeez Louise. This is so scuffed. These guys are doing really well playing as a team. Nice. I mean, it, the gun's doing a good job snagging heads. So you gotta give it that. Nice. Got kill clip again. Nice. Uh, fortunately, we did not reload at the correct time. We couldn't refresh it there. Nice! Look at us, man! Alright, cool. Let's keep this going, dude. We got Spesh. Cool, cool. Almost got our super here. I am ready, man. Oh, 147 on that guy. Come on. Let's see if we can push around. They're probably all going to be around this corner. I just know it. Dang, man. I'm actually really happy. I was really debating popping my super there. I'm really happy I did not, though, because we would have gotten straight up annihilated by that Chaos Reach. Okay, they have a bow and a hammer still, so we gotta be careful. The bow could shut us down. Oh, what a shame. Dude, Mido. That guy's putting in work with Mido. My gosh. <laughs> if the Mido didn't kill us, we would have gotten fricked by that freaking uh, Air Apparent anyway. Look at that, dude. I love this build. Oh, 140. That was kill clip plus disruption break. That's insane. Dude, what? Man's actually be yoinking my, my ammo. That's okay. I don't know who I'm firing at right now. I, there was like three dudes in front of me. I'm like, all right, do I prioritize the hammer or the dude who doesn't have as much health? I guess it didn't matter in the end. Look at that. We got lucky. This thing just ended. Mate, why is everyone stealing my special? 
I guess I can't be mad. I'd probably do the same thing, let's all be honest here. Nice, kill clip again. Oh my gosh, can we all talk about the fact that freaking Found Verdict just one-shot me? I'm so confused by that. That should not have happened, but, um, you know, maybe, like, because there was, like, four dudes in that room. So my guess as to what happened is that I was being shot by everyone, and that the Found Verdict just happened to kill me, because maybe, like, the pellets from all the other players happened to weaken me enough to the point where I died. That's my initial guess. But that's okay. A uh, little salty. Salty. Jeez Louise. A little salty about that. Got lag here too. My gosh. <laughs> this guy's gonna be spamming the B button, dude. It's okay. Alright, this is going pretty good. I'm liking Fatebringer. It's definitely a good primary option. Thank goodness I'm really happy it does not have to compete directly with Palindrome. Because Palindrome is amazing. Um, come on, dude. He's so weak. That's frustrating. Come on, give us this. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, I wanted these assists. That's okay. Doing a good job playing as a team right now, which I'm liking. Nice. Got kill clip going. Experiencing a little bit of lag. Now nah, we're gonna die. We're not making out of this. Yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> Sorry if you can hear me like clicking my controller. <laughs> I'm really liking Fatebringer. It's definitely growing on me, and it, it, it um, complements this this playstyle very well. I got a reason to not use Hawkmoon now, because usually I just always run Hawkmoon, right? Maybe I can run Exotic Heavy or something now. Oh, I didn't get that assist. That's unfortunate. Oh my gosh, we got that guy. <laughs> okay. Dude, spike grenades are insane. I think they're a little slept on, to be honest with you. They're so good. Give me this special. I'm gonna grab sp Oh, he took it. Dang. Yeah, yep, yeah, sounds about right. Yep, there's the chaos reach. Got it again. <laughs> Would not be surprised if he got Geomag on. He got that back pretty quick. All right, let's see here. I don't know which way to push here. I don't. I definitely don't want to get an engagement with the the Mida because I probably will not win at it in extensive range. Nice. Don't have the kill clip, unfortunately. That's okay. Let's just kind of keep this going. This is going pretty well. If we can get our super one more time before this ends, I would be very happy with that. Don't live in my sights. Last time I did that, I got shoulder charged. Hammer strike, whatever the frick it's called now. Nice! I did not think we were getting that. It was still hitting 55 from that far. That's pretty impressive. I'm just jumping. I am jumping. I'm still jumping. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be alive right now. I should not, I just period. I should not be alive right now. No! The game's over! No! Oh, oh, oh no! Dude, they're all just starting to spawn up too. That's okay. That's a pretty good game. I'm cool with that. A little bit of a rough start at the beginning, but we pulled through. <clears throat> Excuse me. We pulled through. <laughs> Nice. Dude, Fatebringer's saucing, man. I'm liking Fatebringer, dude. Yeah, it's definitely a good alternative. I will say that. I I'm probably, hopefully we'll continue to use it. I've been liking how it feels. Yeah, it's not got crazy range or anything, but Kill Clip's kind of like a pseudo range buff, right? Because it's doing more damage. But I've been enjoying it. And that game alone went from 17 to 36. So, I mean, I'd say that was pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I've been enjoying it, and it gives me a reason to, you know, it's a good alternative to Hawkman, because usually when I run this build, I run Hawkman, which I absolutely love, as you can tell, but, um, yeah, because Palindrome is an energy weapon, it doesn't have to directly compete with that, and I'm really, really happy about that, so, yeah, I've been loving Fatebringer, if you get this role, another role I have is 
killing wing kill clip which i would imagine would also be pretty good anything along those lines it, it's it's very good so yes it it's i it's not insane like it's not the best hand cannon i've ever used but i definitely do not think it deserves it seems like people they're not giving it hate it's just people seem to be pretty unenthusiastic about it in terms of how it performs in pvp but uh you can definitely put in work with it and i've been enjoying it so i definitely think it's it's pretty good i don't know it's not the best option but it's a decent option and if you get a good roll i mean why not give it a spin i mean i i i'm enjoying it so i think it's pretty good um obviously i <laughs> I, I'd prefer it in PvE over PvP because, you know, this gun's just amazing in PvE, obviously. Like, that's what it does best. But it's definitely not a bad option if you get a good PvP roll. I would recommend it. But, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That's the Fate Bringer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I do have a Twitter, so a follow over there would be greatly appreciated. Like, if you liked it, sub if you loved it. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to stay as positive as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next video.